What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to the studio. Jeremy Deal here talking about real estate photography. And in particular, I'm going to be going over how I shoot my traditional MLS photos. Now, there are two main schools of thought here. You can either use one large strobe, travel around the property, creating multiple bracketed exposures, bring them back into your software and blend them in post-production or you can do things the way I do them. I use multiple strobes on site so I can create the image that I'm looking for in camera. The reason I do this is because it takes me the exact same amount of time on site, but less post-production time when I get back to the office, which means more time spent with the family or hobbies. Let's get into it. Mm. Coffee. All right, everybody, let's jump right into this. And the very first thing I'm gonna talk about is the gear that I use. I'm gonna bring this over here because this is very old. As you can tell, it's full of tape, rubber bands, and it is beat up. And this is my Godox 8200. This is my workhorse, and this is what I use. A lot of people use only this light on site, and that's what I was talking about when you go around with one large light, multiple pops, or a blended exposure at the end but that's not what we do. I do use this light, but you could just as easily use something smaller for this method. I just find it works better in larger rooms for me to personally hold. Now, let's go on to the meat of the subject and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is my actual bag that I carry with me everywhere when I'm doing my photos. Inside of it is my receiver. I have one large one and that's just because it hasn't broke yet. What I really carry are these little Flashpoint Zoom R2 Minis. I carry three of these, one, two, three, right here. I'll throw them all out on the table and we can get rid of the bag for now because we're not really talking about that. Here they all are. This is my workhorse. This is what I show up to every single property. This is it. This is exactly what I am shooting my photos with. And I'll tell you why I use this technique. I use it because it's easier in post-production. It takes way less time when I get home. It goes from spending minutes on a photo to seconds on a photo for the editing process. Now I've talked about all this before, but I haven't really showed you how I use these lights on site and how it makes such a difference. So that's kind of what we're gonna be going about today. I've got three small ones. These I find are just as powerful as this big one. Now I'll tell you, there is an advantage to still having one large one. And that is when it comes to bathrooms and the lights above vanity mirrors. Whenever you see those old school bulb style fixtures at the top of the ceiling, usually these are a little too tiny to fit up on there in between them. That's when I use the big boy. But generally speaking, these little ones fit anywhere. You can put them on top of doorways, on top of pictures hanging on the wall, into lamps. These fit way more places than these. So if you're starting from scratch, I would recommend the small ones. Flashpoint R2 Mini, this is my actual workhorse. I don't need this light at all. I use it because I have it and it's easy, but when this one dies on me, and I've had it for a long time, so I'm sure it will soon, I'll probably just replace it with two more of these because I can hold two of these in my hand and it's just as powerful as this. Now that I've kind of gone over all the gear that I bring with me, you've got a better idea of the video clips I'm about to show you. So we're gonna go on to this first clip and this is me, literally my workflow for every single room. I'm only gonna focus on this one shot because it's gonna be the hardest shot. So it'll be easy for you to tell exactly how I use these lights. This is a shot going from all the way of one side of the living room through the entire living room, through the dining room into the open kitchen. So this is about as long as a shot gets, especially when doing traditional MLS style photos. Let's jump right into it and I'm gonna jump on over to just audio dictation of this video as it goes along. All right, so the first thing I think we should really do is just look at this image. This is the actual image we are about to create. Now keep in mind, this was done in one exposure using multiple strobes on site, no Photoshop, only Lightroom, no blending, this took about 15 seconds to create once I get it loaded onto my computer. So let's go ahead now that you've seen the image that we're about to create and I'll show you exactly how I created this image. 
All right, so obviously the first thing to do is to walk into the house. And what I do is I place my camera all the way into the corner of the room to get the longest shot all the way through. I'm doing this first because it really helps to set up your shot before you start placing these flashes. This way you know where to place them so they're out of frame and doing the best work. Now the first flash I'm gonna place using the Zoom R2 Minis is right here in this hallway. I'm gonna open up this door and point the flash at the door so it's reflecting back into this dining room a nice white light and that one is set at one quarter power. The next light I'm putting is right here on top of the fridge and cabinetry pointing back at towards that wall so I can fill in light in the kitchen behind the island. This one I'm placing at half power because it's a larger space and it needs more light. Finally, we walk back to the camera and I'm gonna use my main strobe to light the main area or the living room in front of me. I know this angle is a little wacky. It kind of looks like I'm flashing straight into the window, but I'm actually flashing up into the vaulted ceiling. Don't flash at the window because it will only cause glare. But either way, here it is again. This is the image we just shot. It took us about one minute on site to place the flashes and another 15 seconds in post-production to create a much smoother and shorter workflow. Hey, you wanna like and subscribe to this? Thanks. All right, that's it, that's everything. Now you can see exactly how and why I use these strobes on site and how I place them around. I give you a general idea of what power I'm putting them all on so it makes it easier for you. Like I said, the real goal is decreasing the amount of time you're at one of these properties and decreasing the amount of time you edit. So if you do not use an outsource editor, if you haven't seen my video, I talk about insourcing and outsourcing right over there. So check that out. But if not, if you are editing yourself, this is a much better process because the post-production time is so much less. It takes me the exact same amount of time on site to do the blended method as it does to do this but it takes me three times as long to do the post-production on the blended method. Some people may argue that it looks better, but I personally cannot tell the difference and neither can my clients. They can tell the difference between high-end imagery and traditional MLS, but that's a different story altogether because all we're talking about is the MLS and these flashes. Hope that was useful. As always, enjoy yourself, keep rocking and rolling, make smart business decisions, and I'll catch you next time.